Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Quinn, I also go by QP, and on my channel I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. So in this video, I have a very specific shoe haul I wanna share with you guys, and they are all black booties. I mentioned in my previous video that I have bowed calves, so my calves, I don't know if you guys can see it, it kinda does one of these things, it's like very curved, and so whenever I wear boots or booties, they kind of look a little bit awkward because the boots, here, I'll use this as an example. So the shoes are very straight up and down like this, and since my calves are so curved, um, it just looks like you have the shoes and then my calves kind of go like this. Um, and it just looks really awkward. And so I have the hardest time finding booties um, and boots because of that reason. Uh, so in this video, I kind of went overboard and I just ordered like all of these different types of black booties in different styles. Um, I wanted to compare them against each other and see which ones are best for people with bowed calves like me. All right, so in this haul, I have a total of six six pairs of black booties I'm going to be sharing with you guys and talking about um, and comparing. And the first pair I have are these Mark Fisher Limited O'Shea Pointed Toe Shoes. These are really cute. A lot of Instagram influencers actually have Mark Fisher shoes and they're always promoting them or they're always sharing links to them. So I figured I might as well try these out because so many people recommend them. The previous haul I did, I got the one that like dips down. I think it's the Annabelle shoe and that was like very Western. So I thought maybe this would be a little bit less Western um, and a little bit more casual because it doesn't have the dip here. I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted about these shoes because they are very beautiful as you guys can see. They have a very wide heel. It's a pretty decent height because it's not super high but it's also not super low so it gives you really nice height uh, without being super uncomfortable. The toes are very pointed but I like that it has this kind of like square tip which I think is really cute. So it's not like super, super pointed. There's like a little bit of uniqueness to them. The material is really nice. It's a very smooth leather. I like that it's not super patent, not too shiny and also not too matte. So I think the boots themselves are really pretty. I still think that this has more of a Western feel to it. And also on me, the height of the upper here, it just goes really high. Because my legs are already curved, it just rubs up against my legs and it isn't super comfortable. I'm sure if I like break these in and I wear them more and the leather becomes softer, they'll be a lot more comfortable. But I don't know, I feel like these just didn't complement my legs. I ended up wearing these with black jeans. I rolled up because when I tried tucking a pair of pants into these boots, my leg just looked really awkward. So I decided to go ahead and put jeans on, roll them up a little bit. So there's a little bit of gap between my pants and the boots and that kind of offset that crookedness or the curvature of my legs and made it look a little bit better in my opinion. So overall, these shoes are pretty good quality. They are on the pricier side at just under $200. These are a five and a half and they fit me really well. They are a little bit snug to get your feet in and out of though. So that is something to keep in mind. I think that these are very nice shoes, especially if you have like regular legs, straight legs, but if you have bowed or curved legs like me, I don't think they're super flattering because it just goes up really high and the opening here is actually pretty loose so it doesn't really hug your legs very well and because of that it just kind of accentuates the curvature of your legs even more. So I don't think that these are super flattering on me but if you are taller, if you have straight legs, I think that these would be beautiful. I know so many people like them and they are very well made, so they'll last a long time. All right, so the second pair of shoes I have are the Steve Madden Noxie Pointed Toe Booties. Now these are actually very similar to the Mark Fisher Limited booties I just tried on before. 
However, there are a few key differences that I like about these better than the previous pair. So these are also a five and a half. They fit a little bit more snug than the Mark Fisher ones. So I don't know if that makes a huge difference or not, but they still fit me really well and they're pretty comfortable. I actually think these are more comfortable than the Mark Fisher ones because this is a lot lower than the Mark Fisher ones. So because of that, this isn't rubbing up against my legs as much and so a lot more comfortable. These have a very similar heel to the Mark Fisher booties. Maybe the Mark Fisher booties are a little bit higher, but very, very slight. But one thing I really like about these is this metallic accent on the back of the heel here. I think it is so cute. I think it is so pretty. And I like that it's like a silvery accent. So it really can go with so many things. And I feel like these are so much more comfortable than the Mark Fisher booties because those have like leather here. And I think that there is a little bit of stretch to it, but it's not as stretchy as this. And this is a lot softer. So when you're walking around, this is gonna be what's rubbing on your ankle. And so this is a lot more comfortable because of the softer material. The toes are pretty pointy also, but this doesn't have the square toes that the Mark Fisher booties have. Um, I don't think it's a deal breaker or anything because I think the silhouette of this is also very, very beautiful. It's very similar to the other ones. I just think that it's a lot more comfortable because it's not as high and then the material here makes it really nice as well. Um, I love the accents. And then because this isn't as high as the Mark Fisher boots, I feel like they don't accentuate my curved legs as much. So I think that this is more flattering. I think that looks better. So overall, I like these shoes a lot. And if I had to choose between the Mark Fisher boots or the Steve Madden ones, I would definitely go with Steve Madden. I know Steve Madden is not as high of quality as Mark Fisher shoes. I know Mark Fisher shoes are more expensive, but there's just something about these that I like so much more. And considering that they are cheaper, that's like a win-win for me. The next pair of boots in this haul are these Sam Edelman Tinsley waterproof rain boots. Now I got really excited about these when I saw them online because they are super cute and they were like on sale. Like these were $30 at Nordstrom at the time I bought them. So when they arrived, I was kind of disappointed when I tried them on because these are actually very uncomfortable. Because it's like a rubbery, like rain boot material, it doesn't have any stretch whatsoever other than the elastic parts here on the side. I love the silhouette of these boots. I love the way that they look, but man, they are not comfortable. They're just really stiff, really hard, uh, really difficult to walk in, but you know, they're, they're a good price and they are rain boots. So like maybe these are one of those boots that you have to break in. I don't know how that would work though because these are rubber. It's not like a leather or anything where you could wear it down. And again, it could be because my legs aren't straight because they're rubbing up against these parts right here. So that could be why these aren't as comfortable as I envisioned. I'm really bummed though because they are just so, so cute. I like that these are rain boots and they're not like, like knee high. I like the idea of being able to wear cute shoes and not even worry about getting them wet and dirty. Um, so a little bit bummed that these didn't work out. As far as them being flattering, I definitely do think that they look really, really good. I think that this really reminds me of like the Chelsea boots, but just rain boots and for $30, it's a steal. Unfortunately, these aren't super, super comfortable, but hopefully the next pair of shoes will be. Next up, we have these Michael by Michael Kors Lottie booties. These are probably my favorite shoes from this haul. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They are so pretty. Honestly, they fit really well. These are a five and a half. These are actually pretty similar to the Steve Madden pair um, in that the ankle height is lower than the Mark Fisher booties, which I really like because again, it's not rubbing up on my legs and it's also more flattering than the higher ankle heights. This also has the elastic sides for the ankles, making it really comfortable. This one, however, has a thinner heel than the last two pairs of shoes that we looked at. And because of that, I absolutely love this. Going into this haul, I thought I wanted a chunky heel. However, after trying on all of these shoes, I definitely am gravitating towards the thinner heel. Obviously, I don't want like a super, super thin heel, but I think this is like a perfect thickness so that it's very elongating, but it's also very comfortable to walk in. 
These shoes also have a more rounded toe than the other two pair of shoes that we looked at. And um, honestly, I can't tell which one I like better. I thought I wanted a pointed toe booty, but I don't know, I'm really loving this rounded toe booty. This shoe is just so, so pretty, so comfortable, and I love the silhouette of this one. Um, this also has the Michael Kor emblem on the back here. It's like in a stainless steel, kind of silvery accent, um, making it really cute, especially because everything else is very black. Yeah, I mean, I honestly just think that these are so cute. It's between this one or the Steve Madden shoes. I'm trying to decide which one I like better, but they're both so cute and they are bowed leg friendly because the ankle height is a really good height, very flattering, very cute, and yeah, I mean, and very comfortable. So I feel like you can't really go wrong with that. I also like that the opening for your feet here is a little bit smaller than the other two shoes. It's a different style definitely, but because it has like a smaller opening, I feel like it is more flattering. It kind of like shows off the feet a little bit more and it doesn't make curved legs look crooked because I feel like whenever these openings are too wide, it just looks really awkward. So I think that this is really nice, but because of the stretchy material here, it's not like an issue to get your feet in and out. Like I actually think these are probably the most comfortable shoes to slide your feet in and out of, out of the shoes we've talked about so far. All right, so we are down to the last two pairs of black booties and they are suede, so I thought I'd switch it up a little bit. The first one is the Cordani Brianna booty. Now this, as I mentioned, is suede. It's a real leather suede um, up front here. There is a little bit of a synthetic material back here. It's a little bit softer than the suede and that's pretty much just so that you can actually get your feet into the shoe. There are no elastics or anything, so that's why that needs to be a little bit softer. So I ordered these in a five and a half and they're actually a little bit too big for me. I would actually size down about half of a size to a five. I think that would fit a little bit better because I am kind of slipping around in it a little bit. Normally I wear a four and a half if it's like pumps or a five and then with boots or tennis shoes, I wear a five and a half. So these in my opinion run a little bit big. The heel here is a pretty thick block heel. I would say it's about two and a half inches high, so it's not super high. It's really nice for more casual occasions. Um, definitely, you know, very comfortable because it's a little bit lower. And it has a rounded toe here and overall the material is pretty nice. This is made in Italy, so it's made really well. I'm not sure if I love the like synthetic soft material here because it's a little bit loose. You know, with other shoes, there's like an elastic that kind of, you know, snatch you in. This is an elastic, so um, it's not as tight as I would like, but it still looks really nice. So as far as being bowed leg friendly, this is pretty flattering. Um, I didn't have any issues with my legs with these boots at all, so that's pretty nice. I didn't feel like they made my legs like look more curved than they are, and so that's always a win. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this pair of suede booties. Let's go on to the very last pair of black booties that we have for this haul. And last but not least, we have the Vince Henderson Waterproof Chelsea Boots. These are so, so cute, guys. So these are a Chelsea boot style, which I absolutely love. I've been wanting a pair of Chelsea boots, but normal Chelsea boots are kind of lower, and I like that these have a little bit of a heel. So this has a leather suede upper and lining, and then it has a rubber sole. The sole on here is super sturdy. Really, I feel like these are very similar to combat boots. It's kind of like a hybrid of a Chelsea boot and a combat boot, which I actually really really like. These are stunning. They're beautiful. They fit really well. They're really comfortable. I think they look really great on. So I definitely love these. And like the other boots with the elastics on the ankles, I absolutely love that because it just makes it really comfortable. And it's almost like a signature look of like a Chelsea boot, which is you know, so classic, so stunning, so beautiful. Honestly, going into this haul, I wanted a Chelsea boot, but everything that I've tried hasn't really worked out. And also the Chelsea boots I was interested in are also like super, super spendy. So these are really nice. These are originally like $400, like just under $400, and they were on sale for like 150. So really good price, really good deal. I think they are still on sale now if you're able to find them in your size. I don't think they have any more in my size though, 
but um, just keep an eye out on the website because it always fluctuates and Nordstrom always has really good sales. I think that this is such a versatile boot. I think that you can wear this on so many occasions and that makes me so, so excited. This also has a more rounded toe, but it's not super, super rounded. I like that it still has more of a point than some of the other shoes and I think that it's just super nice because it elongates the foot. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, there are definitely a bunch of shoes in this haul that I absolutely loved. So my favorite shoes in this haul are the Steve Madden shoes, the Michael by Michael Kors shoes, and then these Vince shoes. I am so, so excited about them, and I'm really glad that I was able to find these shoes that actually fit really well, they look really good, and they do not accentuate my curved legs. <laughs> Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. I hope that this helps you choose boots um, to better suit your body, especially if you have bowed legs or calves like me. I know for the longest time, I just didn't know what to look for and that this haul, getting so many different styles of shoes really helped me narrow down on what I needed to choose to better fit my legs and my body. All right, well, let me know your questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.